Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Here we talk all things home education and neurodiverse family life. Uh, if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for coming back. Um, we're doing really well with the videos this year. I'm pumping stuff out, it's good. So today, as the title suggests, we are talking uh, about curriculum choices. We are, um, <coughs> excuse me, bronchitis is killing me. <coughs> Not literally, I'm just asthmatic as well, it doesn't help. We're talking about curriculum choices and someone said to me, are you gonna do one for your 10 year old as well? And I was like, yes, I am. I'm also gonna do one for my almost seven year old. He'll be seven tomorrow at the time of filming. He'll be seven tomorrow. Uh, so now we're gonna talk about Bessie, who is my 10 year old and I can't believe she's 10, that is crazy. So if Bessie was at school, she would be in year five. Of course, she is not in school. She has never been to school, so she is not in year five. So we are able to meet her where she is and do the learning that she needs to do. So I'm going to start off with maths. Uh, we, just like Charles, she is using the uh, Scholastic Maths Practice. I found this book last year and I have been singing its praises. We are just working our way through it. Uh, she's also kind of enjoying IXL and I'm letting her pick which one she likes best at the moment. So we're either doing this, uh, this book. I'm not going to do like a flick through because obviously there's Bessie's private work in there, but... Um, it's not particularly interesting um, to look at, but it does the job. Uh, she's also enjoying IXL, and she's actually, um, she could probably do higher maths than that, but I'm just building up her confidence. And yeah, so we're using IXL uh, maths. Uh, she's finishing up the diagnostic at the moment. Uh, <coughs> and we are going from there. And I'm gonna keep drinking my tea. Help, help, help. That's Charles coughing in the background. <laughs> uh, so um, I won't spend too long on maths because maths is maths. Uh, moving on to uh, literature or English, um, which Bessie has expressed um, a desire to uh, read a book called The Secret Garden uh, by Francis Hodgson, Hodgson, Hodgson Burnett. And I um, got this absolutely amazing uh, literature study here from Half Magic on Etsy, links in the description. And we are gonna be starting this, I've literally just printed this off today. Uh, I will give you a little flick through, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna spoil it, so I'm not gonna show you all of it. Uh, but it's beautiful artwork uh, by Amber Helliwell here. And I absolutely love Amber, I'm one of her biggest fans. And I'm excited to show, um, show some of the work. So it's got some like plans here, like by chapter, things that you'd be doing. So for example, uh, chapter one, it's learn about British colonization of India, create a map of India, paint, paint Mary's home in India, try Indian food, copy work and discussion questions. Um, it's not just writing, it's not just English, it's other things as well to kind of bring the story to life. And that's why I have picked it. We are doing Redwall Abbey for Charles and we're doing Charlotte's Web for Albert. So uh, it's not um, it's not just Bessie's doing them, everyone's doing their own study. Uh, but um, it gives you age examples of what things to do and you've got some different things here, look. Um, so this is what we will be using for Bessie for now. And there's some copy work here. Um, a little bit later on, it's Painter Robin from the Garden. So it's a multi-subject literature study uh, that's going to give her some um, literacy, English education, but also bring in other things. So she gets excited about it. So that's what we are going to be doing there. When it comes to writing, the copy work will be there. And she has been showing some interest in just writing spontaneously, being like, um, I want to write a story. We wrote that with her. We did a lot of the writing, she did some of it, but she was the one who dictated it to us. Um, if you are familiar with um, Brave Writer, there's a, this is like transition, isn't there, from jotting it down to partnership writing where they, you are writing things for them and then they begin to transition into wanting to write some things for themselves. And Bessie is definitely at that point. We've not pushed it, we've always written things for her and now she's showing interest in writing things for herself or um, she's definitely in that moving from one space to another and um, I'm all for that I'm super excited and there's been a few um a few times recently when she's just spontaneously started working on projects and she's written it all herself so we are encouraging that a lot <laughs> um so moving on um we have since I did Charles's video we've switched a few things up um 
for um, different subjects, but we are um, we're continuing reading our island story for history and looking at um, the artwork from um, the Charlotte Mason uh, history books and um, science we are again following the between the lines uh, science and nature study just like Charles's we need to get back into that because um, we took some time off because we were all ill and then we were on holiday we went to Disneyland so uh, we need to get back into that we need to get all of the stuff up together and and get back into that uh, we are also doing um, a couple of projects that are just kind of pop-up projects I'm calling them uh, unit studies uh, to kind of make mine and my husband's life a little bit easier the first one we've done is about healthy eating um my world just this is uh, the example that Charles did, but Bessie has done one as well. Um, we've got those resources from Twinkle. And um, uh, we're going to be doing healthy eating. We're going to be doing healthy sleep. And then we're going to be doing about the human body, talking about um, our teeth and our, our, the rest of our digestive system. And we're going to be talking about uh, the benefits of exercise and our cardiovascular system and our respiratory system and so on and so forth. Uh, just so when we say to the children, hey, we need to go out for a walk, hey we need to remember to eat our vegetables hey we need to eat protein we can't you're not gonna just ignore the chicken that's on the plate um hey it's bedtime now that we're not just saying them because uh, we are trying to ruin their lives we are actually helping them understand why we're asking those things of them and i have a baker picture up here i'll just spin you around look here we go food breaks that um we have been uh using is it's we're I'm sat at our dining table right now so when we eat they can see it and the Bessie has been looking at her plate and going hmm okay I have pasta it's carbohydrate oh I have um, some chicken that's protein oh I've got uh, sweet corn and I have broccoli that's a vegetable and I had a banana just before dinner because I couldn't wait and oh I'm gonna oh, the only thing I haven't got is there any oil or spread in this oh yeah we used olive oil with the chicken oh, okay well that means I've got that and then she'll go Oh, the only thing I haven't got is dairy or alternatives. Maybe I'll have a glass of milk when I'm done. And we're like, ooh. <laughs> um, or she'll say, oh, I need a drink because I need to have six or eight drink glasses a day. Or she'll go, mm, that's in the uh, high fat or sugar column. And um, I need to not eat loads of that. So it's definitely been working. You can still come in, it's fine. I was just literally talking about how having this poster on the wall has been really helpful to you and making healthy food choices yeah i was just saying how you were when you're sat when you were sat with your plate that you were then looking up at the poster and matching what was on the poster to what was on your plate and it's been really helpful that's what i did at breakfast so yeah. i looked at everything called picked my favorite things from each category and just made my breakfast with i had a thing what did you have you're yeah. looking at the poster did you have fruit or vegetables at breakfast time uh yeah i don't remember what they were but did you have grapes? No. No? Well, I don't remember. You can't remember. Well, I mean, breakfast was a long time ago. It's currently half past four. I'll find so. out later. But I'm pretty sure I had a peanut butter sandwich. Okay, so that has, that's bread. That's bread and... Where's peanuts? Peanuts. What are peanuts in? They're vegetables, I guess. No, they're no, in the they're protein not. section, yeah. And what did I say peanut butter has in it? Remember oils and spreads? It has a lot of oil in it. Yeah, yeah so that's three food groups, isn't it? And then I also had a glass of flavoured milk. A glass of flavoured milk, so that is. Did you have dairy milk or did you have soy milk? Soy milk. Soy milk, so she had some soy milk. So she had a dairy alternative. So you didn't have any fruits or vegetables? I don't No, I definitely did. But you I can't don't. remember what it was? Yeah. It probably was some... Oh, itchy eye, sorry. It probably was a tomato. <laughs> a tomato. There you go, that's all the food groups. So it's working, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sticking in your head. And I also had a pack of crisps after. Oh yeah, well that was that's in the uh, that's a treat. That's it's in the uh, treat. foods that are high fat and sugar. It's also a treat. Yeah, that's fine. Can I continue my reading? My mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So there we go. Best for myself. Uh, proof that home education works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. So. Um, we will be using the uh, Between the Lines Year 4 Science and Nature Study for her. Charles and her are doing that together. Um, they are also, um, she's also going to be using uh, the history book that we've got and our island story um, for history. I'll just show you the book one second. So this is uh, our island story. 
and it goes all the way from um, Albion and Brutus, which I had not heard of until I got this book, uh, all the way to uh, Queen Victoria. So, and then we can deal with modern history as we get to that point. But I'm just reading them a chapter at a time. And if they're like, hey, I want to learn more about that, we're learning more about it. And if they don't, then we're not. Um, <laughs> simple as that, really. <laughs> And then this is the book. This book is from Sharp Mason Beehive. I talked about, I did share this in Charles's video, I think in the description, uh, but this uh, is finally arrived. It hadn't arrived when I was telling you about it. Oh, there's some food stuck to it. Ah. Here we go. Oh, look, lovely Stonehenge. I don't live very far away from here. I see that. It's probably better now. I mean, closer than some people do. But yeah, it's a really interesting picture. I'm just going to flick through interesting artwork and photographs and this is early Britain so this is 55 uh, BC and I'm going to say BCE because this is not Christian channel we are not going to get me talking about before Christ so BCE before current era to 1066 CE current era um so yeah uh that's what we're using and then once we once we kind of get to the next bit then I'll buy the next book and so on and so forth um what else art Bessie Bessie's not usually into art that you t like just telling her what to create. So she creates when she wants to create, she creates what she wants to create. If there's a workshop that comes up like junk modeling or painting, we go and do it. Um, but other than that, um, I just leave her alone in that department. I don't force it. It's not something that, unlike Charles, she's super into in a more structured way. Um, I just let her, excuse me, I just leave her to it. Um, when it comes to that, uh, geography, the um, the nature study and science is very, earth, there's a lot of earth science in there, so I'm not worried about uh, that. Um, what else are we doing? Bessie's very into cooking and baking, so we will be doing a bit more of that with her this year. Uh, she wants to learn to actually cook, so she could cook a meal by herself. Uh, she also wants to learn to bake by herself without me kind of hovering over her. Um, it's really hard because I'm like, mm, I don't want you to make a huge mess and which is hilarious because when I bake and cook I make a huge mess too um but yes so that's we're going to be focusing on that with her. I haven't yet worked out what I'm going to do there she was doing a uh, weekly baking classes on out school but the lady changed the schedule and um then and like it was all of the other times weren't um GMT they weren't our time zone so she couldn't make them or if they were our time zone they were like nine o'clock at night and that's past her bedtime and I don't want to keep her up to make a cheesecake <laughs> um like one she did she made an amazing cheesecake it was great but I don't want to keep her up past her bedtime to make a cheesecake every week um and she's got other stuff in the evenings as well or we've all the boys have got something in the evening so we can't like it just wasn't matching up um so yes I'm still looking for a new class on out school for her that is um some really good baking and it's got a really enthusiastic teacher always cooking not necessarily baking um haven't found it yet however she has expressed um a desire to go back to ballet uh, not to the same class uh, she was at before the pandemic she went to a great ballet school she'd been going since she was two um the changes after the pandemic of how the classes had to be run she really didn't cope with it and um ended up leaving the ballet school and never went back and that was you know like three years ago four years ago almost um since she danced in a class and she's like oh maybe i would like to try again and i said well why don't you try a handful of out school classes you could try it doesn't have to be about doesn't have to just be ballet you could try ballet you could try tap you could try modern you could try jazz you could try street dance I like sample we can do like one a week and you can really have a go at all of these different classes you could try acro you could try gymnastics like all of these classes online um because out school is great for that and this is a uh, shameless plug of out school again um has uh this pay partnership uh when I do these videos I do get paid in vouchers by OutSchool which I use to fund the classes for my children um so yes anyway now that's over um yeah so I said to her give give all of these uh, classes a go let's kind of sample one a week and if there's one that you really really like we can go back to it and if you want to you can then try an in-person class at another dance school um but also if you are then just happy doing it online and you're just doing it for fun then <coughs> <coughs> let's do that um they are a lot of the classes I found are less than 12 pounds a week um 
which I'm not sure I would get that in a, in an in-person class, although that is obviously there are pros and cons to both. So um, that's kind of our plan. To Albert's birthday is tomorrow. Once we've got that over and done with, I'm going to find some classes and set her up for trials um, and see how she feels about them all. Um, yeah, I think that's it for Bessie. Bessie does brownies. She also uh, comes to me, comes with me to Rainbows as a helper occasionally. And um, obviously she has forest school and um, yeah, she doesn't really do, she doesn't really got any other things going on at the moment. She's kind of busy with all of that. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So that's what we're doing with her at the moment. The group subjects between her and Charles, their age is close enough that we're doing the same thing. Um, she can age up, he can come, he can come down a bit, he, she can go up a bit and, and it's where they're meeting in the middle. Um, and uh, we are just also, also with English, I forgot to say, we are still going with her um, McGuffey primer. I'm not proper primer, she's on McGuffey first reader now and I think she could probably do second or third reader by this point but we actually lost her book I still can't find it it's somewhere in the house uh, we have a rental inspection coming up uh, in two weeks time so hopefully I will find it in my journey of tidying up um and uh yes so um that's we're going to continue with reading that and um I think we're also going to start doing partnership writing the actual brave writer partnership writing with her as well I always say we like Phil helps and he doesn't he's at work um so yeah I think that's it I think that's it for Bessie so I have rambled long enough uh, I've ticked all the boxes I had in my head to tell you about the things that Bessie is up to and that's it so thank you very much for joining us I think I will get away without editing this at all Woo -hoo! Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram because I talk about home education on Instagram too uh, usually a reel or the occasional post uh, but I will be doing 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 a couple of kind of crossover posts on Instagram too um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think I've got some um, Got some stuff coming up in the future but i will share that as it comes i don't think i have anything else to say thank you very much for joining us uh tune in next wednesday and i can't remember what the video is going to be but soon if anyone wonders if you're worrying there will be a video for albert very very soon we will be doing a what am i teaching my seven year old this year video as well thank you so much and i will see you very soon like and subscribe bye